So, what are we looking for then? We're looking for something a bit traditional. Yeah. Think Nord is character. That's yeah, what we're looking for, you know, <laughs> something with the a bit of character. Word, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And a view would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Not sea essential. View would be uh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Garden. Definitely. People get really frustrated with us because we're incredibly fussy. Mm. Uh, far too fussy. We've probably been removed about two years ago, but we've just been messing around looking for things with just that right wee thing. So we're looking for an older style property yep. in a village location yep. with a minimum of two bedrooms mm -hmm. and a budget of 70,000. Yes. yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And Lower Largo is your favourite location? It is, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's where we've been concentrating on so far. Sounds easy, but not for Che and Karina. They've been holding out for a traditional two-bedroom property in the East Newt for nearly two years now. And before we start our search, they showed us what every property story has, the one that got away. This is the first property we ever looked at in this area. It's an upstairs flat with an upstairs downstairs. Mm -hmm. It has four bedrooms, big rooms. Wow. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why didn't you go for it? It was more a, a recce almost for thinking of moving to the area at a future date, mm -hmm. seeing what was on the market, right. what they were like. We didn't realise we wouldn't find another place like this again, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. If you saw that one today, yep. would you buy it? In an instant. Absolutely. That's yeah. really tough. <laughs> no. Coming here and standing outside. Yeah. And the one that got away. Yeah, yeah definitely was. Mm -hmm. The East Nuke is the Cornwall of Scotland, a chain of small fishing villages huddled around its craggy coastline. Of all these villages, Lower Largo is our couple's village of choice. Not only is it one of the most idyllic, it's also just a stone's throw from the main Edinburgh to Dundee trunk road. Crucially, it's also just minutes from Karina's mum, who looks after Ailey when they're both at work. But there is a catch with Lower Largo. It's tiny, and it's a favoured retirement spot. Not much in the way of a property market, then. So we're going to spread our search to include several of the similar style villages along the coast. Our first property is a traditional two-bedroom terrace cottage and it's only a 15-minute drive from Lower Largo. It seems to be roomy enough and it certainly looks great from the schedule, especially as it's on the market for offers over £65,000. The details talk of an amazing view and that is mm. spectacular, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It certainly is. It is a beautiful view, I quite agree, but I am quite sceptical about it and I'll tell you why. Unless you own everything between you and the view, you have no way of guaranteeing that you're going to have that same view in 10 years' time. There's the town. We can see new development on the edge of the town. Suddenly you'll find that up to the windmill, there's the windmill housing estate. Yeah. And your view's gone. Mm -hmm. If you're purchasing a property mm -hmm. just because of one aspect, you've got to think, can I hold on to that aspect? Yeah. How about the room? Is the room big enough for you? Um, it's a funny shape. The more we looked around, the more we realised that the whole cottage was a funny shape. Whilst this can add to the charm of an old property, having the master bedroom situated off the living room was always going to be a difficult selling point, especially so for Che and Karina. I don't think this room layout will work for us as a family, with our bedroom leading off the living room mm. and our daughter in another part of the cottage. I don't think that would work. And that wasn't the only disappointment. Now, at first glance, this property seems peaceful, secluded, idyllic. But in actual fact, you come out of the back and you're living in very close proximity to three other cottages. In these circumstances, it would be crucial that you get on with your neighbours, because in some ways you'd actually have less privacy here than you would if you were living in a town. And there was more. If you do look out the window, there's a busy road running right past the front of the house with mm. a toddler and three cats. We can't, we can't live mm. with it. You see, again, clever details. So you see mm, the yeah. stone cottage and the beautiful garden. Looks lovely. Mm. But there's no mention of the road. Yeah. I always look out on details for a double yellow line. Yeah. If you see a picture of a house and there's a bit of pavement, and just in the very front there's a double yellow line, you think, motorway. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, <laughs> running straight past the door. This is one house that didn't quite live up to the promise of its schedule. Yep. Our next stop is in the tranquil Newton of Falkland, 15 minutes north of Lower Largo. This is the only inland property that we're viewing. It may be inland, but it has fabulous views of the countryside. It's in one of Che and Karina's favourite villages. It's an old cottage, and it's on the market for offers over £55,000. After you. So, here we are. 
cottage sitting room. Right. Well, I know you're very keen on, a, on original features. So. Aye. First impression of the space? It's modern. Old on the outside, mm -hmm. modern on the inside, you know. Modern is good or modern is bad? Modern's bad. All right. Okay. No modern. No modern. <laughs> OK, it might be modern, but the whole renovation has been finished to the highest standard. The kitchen is an extension and doubles the size of the living space, which our sellers have used to make a dining area. Upstairs, nifty little cupboards have been built into the walls and all the rooms have had Velux windows fitted to make the most of the views and to maximise the light. The good thing about this Velux window is it gives an excellent opportunity to have a proper look at the state of the roof. Are any of the tiles missing or slipped? Is the lead flashing OK? Is the guttering OK? I'm pleased to say this one looks perfect. <laughs> well, he's got a big smile on his face. Is this good or not? Uh, I think it's just the, me imagining coming home from the local inn and uh, smacking my head off these things, you know. It's uh, mm. pretty wee, especially with the coom ceiling, I think. Not to worry, there are plenty of villages to choose from, giving us scope to cast our net even wider. The price of property in the East Nuke varies greatly from village to village and indeed from street to street. In the most prestigious areas, a sea view can command up to half a million pounds and a move of five miles down the road can take the price of an average two-bedroom house from 50,000 to 105,000. The demand for good properties here has led to fabulous new developments like these luxuriously converted loft apartments, which were selling recently for £250,000. 20 minutes up the coast, we found a real treat. It's a ground floor flat in a traditional terraced row in Anstruther, just a minute's walk from the harbour. It may be a little further away from Lower Largo, but at £57,000, Kirsty and I think that this place is a bargain, and it seemed ideal for Che and Karina. It is nice. It is yeah. nice, isn't it? It really is. Aye. It's got a real nice feel to it. I yeah, think. it has a nice atmosphere. Yeah. Helped in no small way by the garden outside. Yeah. It's beautiful. The situation's lovely. Yeah. The garden, although it looks as though it's for two flats, it's all owned by this flat. Mm. Great. Great. And the other thing is it's south facing, so the sun would pick up in the east, set in the west, all day you'd flood into this, mm. it would be stunning. Yeah. This is the master bedroom. Yeah. More sun, even mm. more sun. Mm -hmm. Lovely and bright. Yeah. I think that the combination of mm. practical things, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the garden's lovely, it's yeah. in a really nice location, the rooms are a good size, mm. and good that shape. intangible thing that you just can't put your finger on, which is just mm -hmm. the feeling. It's the gut feeling. Yeah. 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 Haven't had it before. What's it going? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did Che and Karina love the interior, but the fact that it had its own parking space went down very well. And... We've got one extra little surprise for you. You've got the back garden. Wow. Yeah. All good stuff then, and well within their price range. But trust Kirsty to find a slight niggle. There's one thing over here which is slightly concerning me. Mm. There's an empty plot at the back here. Right. Now, this is a conservation area, so even if something was built, it mm -hmm. would have to be adhering to very strict regulations. Yeah. The thing about a conservation area is that it's as much a responsibility for the people who live in it as it is a cross to bear. You can't just put in windows willy-nilly, you can't put any old slates on the roof. It's quite a long list and if you've got work planned, which you probably wouldn't have with this house because it's in really good nick, but in the future you'd have to check what those regulations were. It's got a lot of what we're looking for. It's got the original features, the cornicing, the high ceilings, uh, much like we had in Edinburgh. Um, the rooms are a decent size, mm -hmm. I think, um, and it's got a really nice feel about it, which is the one thing which we haven't found so mm -hmm. far, and uh, that's really important to us. Yeah. So far, so good. Property one was a funny shape and on a busy road. Property two was just too new on the inside. But Union Place has definitely got Che and Karina excited. 